A couple of days ago, we left Bangalore, hopped on a plane, and flew two hours to Andaman and Nicobar Islands. We arrived in Port Blair, and immediately things seemed very different. As you can observe, they have pavements here, and it is very well maintained. We checked into the hotel or bed and breakfast called City View and this was the view from the hotel room so the name was quite accurate. We quickly grabbed some lunch and headed to the shore. We landed in Port Blair which is a capital of Andaman and Nicobar Islands and is located in the South Andaman. We stayed here for two days before heading off to Havelock Island. We visited Ross Island and Cellular Jail. You might think this was filmed late in the evening, but in fact sun sets here at 5.18 and the sun rises as early as 5.44. This is what we're having our breakfast with the view of the streets outside. some music we're the only guests of this bed and breakfast and we had some chapati some fried rice and samba for breakfast just waiting for tea and coffee and it was actually a delicious breakfast not too spicy did you enjoy breakfast yes after breakfast, we decided to go visit the Ross Island. After a short auto rickshaw ride, we reached the port where we've seen that lots of other people had the same agenda as us. We purchased tickets for the boat on the island and our boat's name was Ava Salt. Ross Island is situated only 3 kilometers from Port Blair, so the boat ride takes only about 10 minutes or so. But this was Sky's first time traveling by boat or any other type of water transportation, and he loved it. First thing I noticed entering the island was this little reindeer eating the cabbage. Only later I realized that there's hundreds of deer on Ross Island. We joined one other family in renting one of these vehicles that takes you around the island. Ross Island is a tiny remote island known for its distinct old world charm. It is untouched, undisturbed and unfailingly authentic, where the essence of the bygone day still remains. It was named after the British marine surveyor Daniel Ross. It used to be the headquarters of the Indian Penal Settlement for close to a century. The now deserted island was once called Paris of the East. It had all the modern amenities, from bazaars and bakeries to church, tennis courts, ballrooms and printing press, but were all later abandoned after an earthquake in 1941. Not just the British, but the Japanese forces also left their mark after invading the island during World War II. The ruins of these old buildings, made by Indian prisoners, are a perpetual reminder of the terrorizing past of the island. At the same time, they are a reflection of a colorful era, long gone but not forgotten. When we visited, they were fixing the road, but that did not stop our driver at all. He just drove on the other side. We were dropped off at the highest point of the island and were expected to climb down the stairs to go and see the lighthouse. Wow, look at these palm trees, they're so beautiful. And this is the lighthouse at the end of the Ross Island. There's people having photo shoots over there. We just climbed down those stairs and we're gonna climb down some more stairs 
to reach the lighthouse. It is very beautiful here. Quite warm as well. This is the banyan tree and you can find this type of tree all over the Ross Island. And it's very fascinating how the roots of this tree just take over the entire building structures of the ruins on the island. The sight of the twisted and convoluted roots against the old bricks of the buildings is indeed worth admiration. This is where we came to wait for our boat ride back. My mom opened some biscuits and we had guests arrive immediately. So the British built anything in terms of entertainment like clubs, tennis courts and swimming pool, but they were missing some hunting rampants. So they introduced three species of deer in Andaman forest, namely hog deer, barking deer and spotted deer. The hog deer couldn't survive and soon disappeared. But in the absence of any natural predator, the spotted deer population grew at a much faster pace than the officers could hunt. Deer along peafowls are the only inhabitants of this island. We had slightly less than two hours to explore the island. The island is small, so I think that's the perfect amount of time before we hopped on the boat and went back to the Port Blair. We came for a late lunch because someone skipped a nap to a good vibes only place and the first thing that happened is my dad nearly fell with Sky in his lap into a ditch right next to it because it was camouflaged with this Good vibes but people are nice at least they have good vibes. How's the soup? Hot, hot. Is it spicy? It's hot, hot. Hot, hot. We got um, butter, uh, paneer butter masala wrap. It's very tasty. And some french fries. Paneer tikka. This is the room in the City View bed and breakfast where we stayed the location of which is very convenient for tourists such as ourselves. The room was comfortable and safe, but we were most impressed with the hospitality of the staff there. They were very helpful at providing anything we needed. They were very respectful and accommodating. The breakfast today was some set dosa. I don't know what this is, but it was nice. Some sambar and chutney. I have never seen this kind of road. It's paved better than at the airport. Well, I have never seen a zebra crossing in India before. I mean, don't expect anyone to stop for you when you cross, but it's there, so you know where to cross. After breakfast, it was time to visit the most important tourist attraction in Port Blair, the cellular jail. Are you sure you want to go into the jail? <laughs> yeah. You will let us out. Cellular jail is a famous colonial prison located in Port Blair on the Andaman Islands, and it's often identified with words like terror and fear. Once built and used by the British to exile political prisoners, it is now an important tourist destination for many as it serves as a historical reminder for one of the darkest chapters in the Indian freedom struggle. Cellular jail is a massive three-storied structure with seven wings of unequal lengths, radiating from a central watchtower shaped like spokes of a wheel. The architecture of cellular jail was conceptualized on the basis of Pennsylvania system of separate system theory, in which separate confinement is necessary for each inmate for complete isolation from other inmates. No communication of any kind was possible between prisoners in the same or different wings. 
confinement in the small cells gave this facility its name, cellular jail. The four out of original seven wings of the jail had to be demolished after the damage during the earthquake in 1941. They have since built a hospital where the other four wings used to stand. Cellular Jail is part of UNESCO World Heritage Center and it's a must-see site if you visit Port Blair. They have a light and sound show in the evenings, but unfortunately we weren't able to see one this time around. After visiting the jail, we stopped at a nearby park to spend some time before having lunch and traveling to Havelock Island. But I'll stop this video here and more about that trip in the next video.